We're all having a good day today. It's been really sunny. Well, not that I've seen any of it. I've been in the shop all morning sorting um, deliveries out and things. So, uh, and then hopping in and driving round, dropping them off. Uh, and then I got back about half an hour ago. I've got some more, another one to drop off a bit further afield. 
after this class, before the next class. So yes, a busy, busy bee. How are we? There's, how many of you are there? There doesn't seem very many of you today for a Tuesday. What's going on? Two of you? No, that can't be right. That can't be right. So you can see I've used a black permanent pen. So you can see it, but also um, it'll probably smudge a little bit when I put the colour on, but it'll um, last a bit longer than... Uh, I've only just done it, so I shouldn't really have done that. I should have let it dry. Um, so you can see what I'm doing. And hopefully it'll still stay there enough. <coughs> Right, let me just deal with some Facebook queries about this. Ba -ba -bum. Oh, you're so quiet. I've got how many of you? Three of you now. Where is everyone? Who normally comes to these on a Tuesday? I've forgotten. Everyone's sunning themselves there. Let's get Discord on just in case anybody's on there. Right, so hello, hello. There's usually a lot more than this. Um, I've just sent Trish the link so she can access it. Um, but yeah, Rosemary doesn't do a Tuesday afternoon, does she? Does Sandra? Mm. Oh, she, I know she's doing tonight though, isn't she? So maybe that... Like I said, but yeah, there's normally a lot more than just three of you. Yeah, not on online though. The online ones seem to be a, a lot busy. Oh, there's four now. Okay, we're getting there. It is only just after four, two. Okay. Maybe they're all just hurrying to draw it before they join us, maybe. Yeah. I just shoved everything in black today. Mad rush. It is a complicated one, but that's why there's nothing else in the picture. Um, I'm, I'm, it, it doesn't even look like a boat now I've drawn it. It looks really weird. I think I can put the uh, bird song on now because I've changed the microphone on the, uh, for this setting. So I think I can have something on. So it's taken me a week or so to work out how to do all of this. We're back down to three again. Oh, 
Well, then you think, I, oh, I can turn that down there. It's the auxiliary mic. Warm yellow, brown and white. That's it. Where are you all today? Yeah, I think they must be. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. They've all thought, oh, I'm not doing this one. Yeah, good plan. Yes, doing the other thing, absolutely. Yes. Well, in theory, it should, Nick. Yeah. Hmm. Well, you get, you get in 20 minutes to draw, so don't worry. So you got another... 12 minutes or so to make sure you're in. Well, no, I mean, that's why I, I, I posted it. I mean, I was at the shop when I um, remembered. And I thought, oh, no, I've got, I've got to post this. Unfortunately, I knew where the image was, so I could find it. Yeah, I'm in my sunset period today, this at the moment. Yes. Well, you see, I've done it, but I've done it in permanent pen, so I'm hoping it will, um, it will stay enough. Because I know that the yellows are transparent, but even if it just gives me enough of an idea. Because the light is, is off the picture, but it's off left, isn't it, the sun glow? Because you can see it from the side of the boat, ship. Do say hello if you're on Facebook, because um, it's a, 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 a weary band of few today. I mean, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I think it's a, it's such a beautiful picture. Yeah.
All right, so um, Christine, Christine's going to catch up with it later on. Christine's normally one of our regulars. So she's um, doing some DIY stuff at the moment. So that's why she's not joining us. So that's good. Hello, Christine. So when you do join us, hello. It's lovely to have you with us. So maybe maybe everybody else has got scared. We've got we've got Trish though, haven't we? I know we've got Trish. So it's uh, Nick, Robert, Trish, and Chris. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Oh, lovely. Yeah, that's I think that's always a tricky thing with the portrait, isn't it? It's um Sometimes it's not hard to get a likeness, a resemblance, but it, it's that personality, isn't it? The character behind it that's always tricky. But then, you know, when I've watched um, Sky Portrait Artist of the Year, I can see them, you know, sometimes within minutes they get a likeness and then the more that they work on it, the less it looks like them. Or, or, you know, it, it, there's something about it that j just doesn't quite work. And these are people who, have, who, who do it for a living, so I think it doesn't always work. Yes. It is, yeah, it is. It's, it's all about observational because you know with a landscape if the tree doesn't look like that tree it will still look like a tree you know um and it's the same with mountains because the landscape changes such a lot almost on a on a seasonal basis things will be taller and shorter or fatter or thinner it's easier to just fudge a landscape um with pet portraits I prefer only to work from the photographs of, of the animals because I've, I've known some pet portrait painters who will use a photograph but then they'll use stock images of the same breed of animal to help them but I don't think that's helpful um, because then you're making it more generic and less about that actual animal. Um, and for portraits, obviously it's got to look like that person otherwise there's, there's not much point in it. I've got two portraits uh two commissions not portraits well they sort of are uh two um two commissions i'm working on at the moment and they're the hardest that i've had to do for a long time um so it's a good challenge it's a very good challenge but i'm enjoying it i've, man I've managed to get one done um so i'll be starting the other one in the next few days but my, my issue is I don't have time um, 
even though I'm at home, I'm, I don't have time just to sit down for three or four or five hours at a time um, now. Which is good. But, you know, you know, when lockdown started, I thought, oh, right, I'll be able to do this and this and this and this. No, I haven't been able to do any of them. Um, cad red, cad yellow, white, ultramarine and burnt sienna. So once you've drawn, if, if you are on Facebook, um, if you let me know you've drawn, then I know I can move on. But I am going to give you till 20 past, so you've got two minutes, and then we'll shove some colour on. Now, I've, I've deliberately kept it this way, so that once you've got the drawing, if you can make the drawing heavy, I've used permanent pen, um, just so you can see it, and also um, it will smudge a little bit because I'm using sealed canvas and I'm too impatient for it to dry and I keep stroking it like that just to check it and it keeps smudging under my fingers um, and have I learned from that? No, because I've done it four times um, but uh, if you do it heavy in pencil it, it will help Right, so I'll go through the colours again. White, cadmium yellow, cadmium red, ultramarine and burnt sienna. But this is kind of a streaky sky and I did pick this. Um, a, I wanted to do this image anyway, but B, I knew, you know, you have to plan for, for weathers and this isn't a, a, a soft, subtle, blended sky. It's quite streaky with different tones of clouds so really that should hopefully help us along um, it's quite it's a lot more Turner-esque on this image but the, the real image is, is a little bit softer so uh, let me just wet my big brush and I'm going to go in with a bit of white plot that on you can see look my my black pen is running but that's okay because of uh, I'm gonna lose all of this line I think oh my yeah look at that my black pen is not permanent how annoying is that Get that off. My sky's going to be quite dirty. Yeah, this should be white. I've 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 currently got a galleon fire because my uh, my black pen has run because I I haven't really I I did it just before. I turned the light there, the, the camera on, so uh, my black has run substantially. Yeah, this is now the Fighting Temeraire on fire. Um, but that's alright, I can deal with that and it will help you deal with it as well if it happens to you. So that's, that's why it's good to see 
me go through awfulness because hopefully it, it helps you follow through and you can work out how to make it better so I'm going to go into a bit of cad yellow but the actual dried part of the ink I can still see through the sky so I, I'm happy with that it just means that my sky isn't going to be as punchy because it's got a bit of black ink on it but that's alright you can see yeah you can see on the camera you can still see through it so in that respect this has been successful brush is a bit too wet but you know never mind and now I'll start thinking about where the red's gonna go I'm not cleaning brushes at all um, is that a bit too red let's go with a bit of yellow in there along the horizon It's a bit, it's sort of a pinky orange right at the top, isn't it? So again, with these sort of clouds, with these sort of skies, it does work better if it's wet and that the white's wet so you can work on it. And when I mean wet, I don't mean runny, I mean workable. But if it's dry, it doesn't matter. It, that'll give you a different look again. So, you know, either way, it's all workable because at the end of the day this is acrylic painting and with acrylics you can cover it all up as you can see I started with a beautiful black mast which has disappeared because the ink ran because I was too impatient and I was poking it and prodding it and being really naughty and doing all the things that I tell you lot not to do um, and uh, I'm suffering because of it. I'm not suffering. It's only a bit of painting and I'll still sell it. Because nobody will have the, uh, the original to compare to. And I like paintings to be slightly different. That's my excuse. I need to go a bit more yellow in here, I think, because I want, I do want some glow. But you can see where I had to wash off my, um, my runny ink, my painting, my canvas is a lot more diluted than it would normally be under actual painting circumstances. Um, but I'm not, I'm not worrying about it. Um, you see, if I got to the point where I got that annoyed, everything would start to go wrong. And it, it all you do is end up getting really stressed. And I'm really good at getting stressed. Um, but it does defeat the object of why you're doing the painting so um, I am going to build it up a little bit longer make up some slightly stronger orange maybe right on that horizon line the hardest thing I think you'll find will be getting your horizon line straight because you can get it straight now that's not the problem but then you've got to put the C on it so often when these sort of scenes happen is that you end up straightening your horizon line and um, the sky just gets higher lower and lower and lower because you 
your line for your horizon to get in higher and higher and higher. So I'm using a flat brush and I'm using the clouds sort of choppy. I'm doing that jerk um, method, the jerk technique. It works. It works. I will have to put some purple on in a minute, I think. Purpley grey with the ultramarine and cadmium red. And you can build it up, you see. So if I went in now with some purple, because these are all going to be the same colours in the sea. But, uh, you see, I don't know, is that, is that too strong, possibly? Let me work it in the colour so then... It allows me, you want a bit more red in than blue. Now this is going to possibly wipe out much of my uh, pen drawing underneath. But I know it's there and I can roughly see it, so that's, that's fine. So I'm doing more of a stipple with my flat brush now. Desperate not to run out of the colour before I finish this cloud. Now I can mix up a bit more. Much stronger up here. Because it'll mix that, you know, it's the, the, the cloud in the in the photograph is sort of more of a brown purple, but obviously it's going to mix with the orangey reds in here and create its own browns. So it does work nicely. And what I want to do with this in particular is wait until coffee break time and uh, see how how it looks I mean I might it is more it's not as bright as that but this is a copy of the copy I, man, I managed to quickly get a photocopy this morning um, at the shop and um, the actual photograph is much much softer so what I'm actually painting here although it's softer than on there it is more true to the photograph. Let's add in a bit of white because my colours just have to mix a bit more. It's always scary when you mix more. Yes, yeah, so I've had a bit of a tour today. I've gone to several plan, had four deliveries to drop off today. Um, I don't know where anything is around here, you see. I have no I really have no idea, because I'm always at the shop. So I never really go anywhere. So heavily reliant on sat-nav. Um, but it's quite cool to find new places, because you hear of them, and um, you, you haven't got an idea where it is. But now I do. Yeah. No, no. You don't realise how big it is, but then I have to start, I, then I have to plan my journey sort of thing and know that, oh, I can do several in this area. Um, and then I'll do further afield ones. So, should I get stuck in traffic, the class might run a little bit later tonight. Because I've got, I've got a 20 mile 
journey to do but it's still going to work out cheaper than posting it so I might as well do it cheaper and quicker but I should be back because I, I reckon we'll finish this around 4 so I'll jump in the car head off Northamptonshire and uh, should be back in time to paint my canvas black so I'm, I'm, I don't want to mess too much but equally I'm having to clean my brush if I want to go with some lighter tones because I want a bit more orange or softer tones within that cloud and I can't with a, a wet brush and also if I keep if I keep going into it um, I'm going to just lift off the colour that's underneath rather than put the colour on so I'm going to have to get the hairdryer on this just so I can uh, oh, I'll have to plug the hairdryer in aren't I? Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. I'm actually fairly happy with the colour on here however I do want to just make it more of a glow on the bottom left hand side so I can enhance where the light is coming from you know the the sun set and I've painted over my picture uh, well no because I haven't actually technically started the sea that's where my black pen ran. But it's a good colour, isn't it? It's perfect. Yeah, that's why I've had to hair dryer mine because it was um it was lifting off the colour.
a slightly stronger glow on the lower parts just just to make it easier to identify the glow when when the uh, the light goes on to the ship I'm, def I'm definitely not going to do any more maybe you see it's a bit lemony is no it's not lemony actually it is cadmium yellow it is cadmium yellow but it's neat let me see if I can just put a bit of neat cadmium yellow on Obviously, we've got the water to fiddle with. But the sky, it is all sky. Um, and if, if time totally ran away with us, you could get away with doing the whole galleon in a silhouette and it would still work, so... Don't have to worry too much about that. When the yellow goes over the um, the purple, it will it will go brown. So I tap a few little bits with my finger. I'll keep that soft up there. But uh, yeah. I did one wonky line with my pen and that's the one that isn't disappearing. Which is so annoying, isn't it? It's typical. I did anticipate a bit of a smudge. But um, that's why with the black pen, it fits with this sky because it's a dark sky and there are grey purple elements into it so it works really well. I mean, if you were using a water-soluble pen, clearly that would that would only run. So we can, you know, spread, you know, spend, how long are we doing this? We've, we've spent nearly half an hour on this, which is good. I still want to ensure that I can see the sky, uh, the, uh, the boat through. I do want 
that stronger element of yellow on this side. Maybe I could add just a bit more red into it. I don't know. You do get to a point where you, you become a, a, an adder. And it may not actually enhance the picture at all. So I'm, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop that sky. Yeah, I think I'm pleased with that sky now. Obviously, the, the sea is almost exactly the same, um, but you're going to do it in more linear strokes. Um, and... I put the lighter bits in, which is the yellow, because that's all on this side, isn't it? And then I've still got. Can't get this brush dry. It's still quite runny. the darker flecks in which are more of a pinky purple when this is dry and then there's some slightly even more purple colours working through Yeah, it's neat cadmium yellow on the left-hand side, um, and added a bit of cadmium red to it to make it slightly more orangey. And then I'll be adding, um, when that dries, I'll be doing sort of like a pinky reddy purple everywhere else. And then I'll be doing darker purple, more bluey purple, little flicks in the sea, and then we can stick the boat on top of that then. That's, that's the plan. Because, in fact, do you know what? We could almost do without burnt sienna, couldn't we, really? Because it's kind of... The side of the boat is more of a purple glow. Don't you think? But I will put the burnt sienna in. I've squeezed it out now. I'm not going to waste it.
Part of it's drying really quickly and other parts just aren't, but that's okay. It's 10 to 3. Actually, it might be a good idea to pop the kettle on at this juncture. Um, so then when it's dry, we can um, we can move on. Because once the sea's in, it is just the fiddliness of the boat. Um, but you can go as fiddly or not as fiddly as you like. Um, it's not as big a galleon as it looks. It's more... It, Absolutely, it's a model, isn't it? It's a model galleon, like a, a quarter size galleon. Um, I imagine it's what they use for films to make them look like there's a lot of them, you know? So they, you know, you can have them in and then it uh, it looks a lot further. I thought, initially when I saw the photograph, I thought the crow's nest was really big, but actually... It's not, it's because the people on it are really big as well, because the boat's actually smaller than you think. But uh, it's such a lovely picture. Right, let's put the kettle on.
Right. Well, it's coming on, isn't it? It's coming on. So it'll be a pinky purple next. Shall I use the big brush? Still? Yeah, I will. I'll still use the big flat brush. Cadmium red with a little bit of blue. And maybe a touch of white. Oh, that's a nice colour. I don't know if it's the colour I wanted, but it's a nice colour. Mm, need a bit more blue in there or something. Or maybe a bit of brown to... Um, see, it's gone very sticky, but if I add too much water, it'll be too runny. That's the problem, isn't it? See how that looks. Now that I have got my brush too wet, but it might help give me a good water line. We had a massive um, 40, 50 foot arctic trying to turn around in my lane yesterday evening um, after the class. I ended up having to reverse all the way up. Um, but my neighbours who live on the main road opposite, they regularly get their roof taken out and stuff by lorries who think they can turn around in my lane. And, uh, well, I don't know. I think I think um, because of all of the roads to Daventry um, keep getting closed closed off because of um, HS2, um, they, they come up thinking it's fine and then they realise they can't get further up um, and they use the little triangle of land outside my house. Because somehow they think it's a roundabout and they, they think it's big enough to take... Uh, 40 foot trucks and it it really isn't I, I remember there was one morning where um it was about five o'clock in the morning and i could just hear this the you know the beep 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 of a, of a truck and i couldn't work out what it was so i um got out of bed and went to the spare room and there was basically a huge car carrier facing my my bedroom and the cabin had mounted the pavement and and it was almost i could almost touch it it was that close um and uh, he decided to try and turn around and he was going back and forth back and forth into the pub bushes and um i actually followed uh, well i didn't follow him uh, several hours later i was driving down the a361 and uh, he was there in the lay-by, and they're all BMWs he was carrying. And all of the, the, the back two BMWs were um, covered and dented in branches and twigs and brand, brand new BMWs these were. And he just ruined them all. So whether he had a job if after that, I don't know, but uh, I wouldn't have been a happy bunny. So I don't know if we'll end up getting a sign or something to say, you know, no turning or not suitable for heavy goods vehicles. I'm enjoying this. This is very different to what we normally paint. So it's... Uh, Oh yeah, you see, I've given up on the sky, and I might go back to it later. Um, yeah, 
Yes. I've I've lost some of my uh I I can just about see my main mast, so that that should give me something to work from later on. So this is that pinky purple. And if I use my thinner brush, it's probably this whole painting I'll end up doing in a big brush. Big brush, little brush. I put, put it on with the big brush and then fiddle with the little brush. And we'll go a bit darker than this later. But, the, you know, the good thing about these online lessons is perhaps if people who didn't do it because they thought it wasn't going to be any good or they didn't think they were going to like it, you know, under the normal classes, that would be it, wouldn't it? You know, they'd, they'd have to miss it out. But at least now they could go, oh, I really like that. Can I come and watch that later and do it? And they can. So um, it reaches a lot more people. I wouldn't mind if I could get it so each video could be like a paper view or you know what I mean, like you buy the video as part of your lesson or something, I don't know. But that would mean a whole different setup and a whole platform of technology that I'm not capable of understanding, so that won't be yet. Well, you don't know what's... When it's not your world, you don't know what's available, do you? Um, and, and there are online streaming platforms, but I'd still need... It, it would just mean even more work from my point of view, so I'd have to do it on the, the Facebook page, and then I'd have to move it from the Facebook page to the online streaming thing like Vimeo or what have you, where I could have people pay for it that way and access it. Um, but it's all the transferring and... All that kind of stuff. Oh, Harry. Yeah. Good. I'm sure it'll look fantastic, Chris. Well, we're just over an hour in. It is. There's a lot of upset and hurt people out there that don't seem to be getting any support from those who are supposed to support them. Well, I'm, I'm certainly glad I'm over here. But I was reading this morning that um, that the the church got the vicar of the church near the, the White House got uh, forcibly removed by the forces so um, Trump yeah yeah with gas can it tear gas and all sorts because he wanted to go and stand stand in front of it awful I can't, you know, I, I, I can't imagine, I really can't imagine any other president of behaving in that way.
Yeah, he, he must be very insecure. Absolutely. I mean, there's, there, you couldn't, you, you know, there's no such thing as, as having a, a discussion about anything. It's either that way or no way. No, of course not. Um, but for his supporters, he is doing everything that he said he promised to do, though, isn't he? So that's that's the difficulty yeah absolutely just trying to bluey purple around the boat. I, I think the difficulty is at the moment. I think in, in in lots of in lots of countries, instead of people who have the power just apologising for anything they do wrong, they end up having to then refuse to apologize and then make up more legislation or more ways to cover up what they did rather than just hold their hands up and go you know what that didn't work out or you know i realize the the mood has changed or we we, we did that a bad call we'll just we'll apologize and we'll we'll do better next time and I, you can see that in lots of countries at the moment there's just there's so much unrest and unhappiness and and you know that it all of it would be resolved if we all if we really all treated each other how we wanted to be treated ourselves i was watching that wonderful video there's an amazing female american educator on racism i don't know if you've seen the video and she has a a a, a, a full audience of just white americans and, and, and she says to them, um, stand up if you would be happy to be treated the way that black people are treated in our in our country. And nobody stands. And she said, oh, you're not, you're not understanding. Um, I said, stand up if you wanted to be treated the way that black people are treated in our country. Nobody stands up and they all sort of like look down. And she says, so what I'm hearing from this silence is that you are all aware of what is being done. And you don't want it for yourself, but you're happy for somebody else to have it. And she was basically saying, so unless you make some changes in your life, you know, your silence is part of the problem. And I, th I think that's the thing. I think for for many people, myself included, I know I'm not. I know I'm not racist. Um, however, I don't do a hell of a lot to stop it. Do you know what I mean? I I just don't. Because I, I don't see it, but then I don't see it because I'm surrounded by white people all the time. So I, I don't know how severe the impact is until it gets something like like is going on now. And then what can you do? You know? Yeah. Oh, cool.
So this is just ultramarine. A lot of ultramarine with a bit of cadmium red. It's not reflection necessarily, and it's kind of not shadow. It, it, it's just something. But I'm doing this in little short strokes. But um, it's the same, you know, I've, I've been, I, I try, I, obviously these classes we try not to be political or, you know, we're, we're apolitical in these classes. But I honestly don't think racism is a political matter. I think, how, how, how can wanting everybody to be treated equally, how can that be political? Surely that's a humanitarian matter rather than a political matter. You know? Yes. Yeah. A world without politics and social media, I think it'd be a wonderful place. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to put some lighter tones on this. I'm looking at the camera and it's working, but it's not. I think I've got to make this purple more dilute and break up my yellow and uh, the stripes. So I'm, I'm adding more water to this sort of aubergine colour that I've got on. And I'm going to have to do some more little thin strokes throughout all of it just to break it up because it's just too, too blocky. He's the one that's running, isn't he? He's running against Trump. For when is that? October, November time. Sadly, I think uh, Trump will still get in. Um, you know, I haven't heard from him for a couple of days. I'll have to send him a message. To be honest, I'll give him a text because he's Maryland way, isn't he? I think he's having to start work soon. Yeah, sort of. Well, he had to, um, when he moved back, he had to self-isolate, you see, for such a long time. And then he, he self-isolated and then I believe lockdown started so then he couldn't go out. So, yeah, he'll be having to get back into the swing of things soon like, like a lot of us will. And I'm going to have to do, you know, that the pale pink that we started with, the pinky purple, I'm going to do a, a whiter version of that, I think, just to put on reflective lines in here because it's, it's going to end up being too dark if I'm not careful. And it's not actually as dark as I'm putting it on. Let, let me try. If I go and add... A bit more red. 
and I'm going with some white. Is that going to be too, or oh, it's too much, too white? Barry, what are you doing? I mean, technically that is the right colour, but it just seems so pale. So I've gone for a very white colour, and then I'm going to do the highlights in the sea. Because it's almost like pale stripes going across, isn't it? I always feel better once I've got lighter colours on, or a bit of drama. It is stripy though, isn't it? You know, you can see there's like a dark band, then there's a pale band, then there's a dark band, pale band, dark band, then the yellow band. So it is pale. But the hardest bit is getting the colours the right sort of consistency. So it looks like it works alongside each other in a harmony, you know, in a harmonious way, rather than just having lots of stripes. I was thrown this morning because um, the Sunday class is this Sunday rather than next Sunday and it's normally the second Sunday of the month. However, I realised why is because it should be Art Fest next Sunday. Um, and that may be a bit sad really because this, be, you know, this would be our fourth year of Art Fest. And we've had to cancel it, so no Banbury and District show. But there's no way you could do it safely, so it's, we, we, we've got to do it this way. But um, it really did make me wonder, why, why have I got it this week? I'm sure I read it was this week and not next. And then I remembered. be weird to get sport back I wasn't anticipating sports to be back before everything else is back but uh, I saw the horse racing is going to come back and stuff it's just mad isn't it you know you still can't really spend time in the house without well, I haven't got any parents but you know I can empathize with people that have and haven't seen them can't do that but you can watch you can watch horse racing or snooker I think maybe it's because I really don't like sport. I'm not a sporty person, so I don't really care about it. I'll occasionally watch the rugby if it's a big match or something, but uh, I don't. I don't understand sport enough, really. I I avoided it like the plague when I was at school. I didn't mind playing rugby though. I like rugby and I like the lung jump. I think it's because I was one of the tallest in the year so I could actually do that. So I'm, I'm doing this with lots of short strokes and this is the sort of pinky purple with a lot of white in amongst it to start it's, it's about like building up that movement isn't it because it's it, it's a calm sea absolutely calm but equally what I don't want to do is put too much of this on and then I'm having to go back with the darker color because I've made it too light 
so it is always recommended to um, do a bit then stop look back and see how it's coming on rather than just go gung-ho with it I love that word gung-ho that phrase we don't really use it a lot and if you notice there's actually seagulls in this but I'd have to put three oh there are three so that's perfect You know, I'm not a fan of sticking birds in pictures, but uh, that works. <laughs> so those of you in Facebook land, you're very quiet today. Probably concentrating, so I'll let you off. Part of me wants to put yellow on some of this, but I don't think it'll work. But I feel I know I want to, but I I could maybe put a yellow glaze on it. Let's see, I'll see how that looks. Let me get the hairdryer on some of this because there's more of a a yellow glow on some of this purple that I've missed off. Hello, Sarah. Well, you might feel inspired to, to, to actually do it at some point. a bit of glazing. Most of you like glazed over during my lessons anyway, so that's probably why I like glazing. Yeah, that works. You see, if I do too much and I have it too runny at this point, I'll end up lifting off that colour and I don't want to do that but just a little bit of a yellow wash in places does just tie it in together and stops it from being so stripy but it is stripy all right let that dry for a minute how are we doing for time half past three okay so i'm going to be working on the galleon Weird, I'm still getting um, notifications and messages from my Paint Like Money video from nine years ago. Weird, it's still doing the round. On YouTube. Oh, now, it's all thin brush. And I am going to do the rigging, and I probably won't get time to do the rigging during the class, because I want to do it in a black pen. Um, and everything needs to be totally, totally dry for that, so um, the rigging I might miss. But if I mix mix a bit of cad yellow 
burnt sienna and white. I don't know if that's going to be the right tone. No, it doesn't. It doesn't not go. So we'll go with it. I'm not putting the figures in. I'm going to pretend that it's a real full-size galleon, like Pirates of the Caribbean. You want it to look like it's hit, or maybe a bit of white and yellow actually should be the thing. You want it hit by the light, and equally you want it to uh, stand out a little bit. But there is a lot of dark in this, um, which I'm going to make from ultramarine and burnt sienna. So literally everything is going to be ultramarine and burnt sienna for the the dark bits All dark in there. It is a bit Turner-esque today, isn't it? Ultramarine, burnt sienna. It's more of a blue than a black. But it will go well. You see, using, using ultramarine and burnt sienna instead of black here will work in the sense that um, we've got ultramarine in the rest of the picture so in theory it should gel but equally I've got to try and find all my lines again dark underneath there as well, isn't it? See, what I love about this is the fact that we can 
put darks on and then if we need to change any of it we we can we absolutely can by adding lighter bits now actually that should that should be dark in there but then light around it I'll have to change that it's getting your paint fluid enough to um, get the different tones and sharp edges but still dark enough to um, to work as a dark colour frustrating because I noticed it and then didn't two areas of white paper where I haven't done anything with them and it's where there are sort of window things but um, I don't want to I could do them yellow actually so it looks like the lights are on in the in the kitchens or galley or whatever the galley is a kitchen Where's my crow's nest? There. Crucially, at the time I need my paints not to dry, they're drying. I think I'm going to end up with a slightly bent mass. This is all ultramarine burnt sienna mix. So that mast is coming down here. Where's that other mast? Just so many lines.
need enough water on my brush. And that finishes about there, okay, so. Like that. So where's that third mast? Is that it? Is there only two masts? There are, aren't there? There is three. Where's the third one? Which one's my main one? I've done this one, and then I've gone one behind. Where's, where's the other one? So it's... No, I can't zoom in on this picture. Hang on. I've... Oh, hang on. I can. I can just about. There's like a flag or something on it, isn't there? Uh, yes, there is. Okay, I can see that. I can. Oh, have I got my lines in the wrong place? I have, haven't I? I've got that line in the wrong place. Or have I got my crow's nest too low? You see, there's a, there should be a line here instead. And that's what's throwing me. There's that line. I'm going to have to rub that line out somehow. I don't know. I think it's where my, uh, my pen got uh, smudgy. Oh, do you know what it is? It's because I've I've extended that line from that one. Right, let me block that out then, if I can. Bit of red, bit of white, bit of yellow.
sky colour is too pink now. Where I've filled in my messy bits. end up having to use the uh, let's put the lights on in there um, I'll probably end up having to use the pen on a lot of this to be honest um, to, to faff it up a little bit when uh, when the camera stop oh, I've just lifted that off oh, oh. possibly won't be able to post this straight away because I want to get the rigging on but I have got to dash off um, and do this delivery in between because it's uh, a 40 mile round trip so it's all it's all going on isn't it Is that more, a, more of a yellow glow, do you think, on the side of that boat? Yellow and white. Let's try it. Oh, I've just done that horrible thing, um, you know, where the feral blobs... I didn't wipe it properly. So I'm definitely not putting the people in. Yeah, a bit like that seagull the other day. this brush to put in the three seagulls that one's hard to spot this is with the ultramarine and uh, burnt sienna that's the center I have to move him a bit further over this way I will put the rigging on, but I'll have to do that, I think, in a sensible way. And I think I'll have to wait, the, wait for it. 
to dry. It look weird without any rigging though. I don't think I've got enough dark in the, the base of the water either. Obliterated some of that, so if I mix a bit of my blue and my brown up again, because it is really dark in there. I did it with purple, but I think I do need this a bit darker underneath this a little bit. Oh, and I've just spotted a bright yellow glint right at the bottom of that boat where it hits the water line, where the where there's a sort of like the the water rises slightly up, right there towards the front of the boat. So I'll um, I'll let that dry and I'll put some in. Just a bit of yellow and white, I think. Yeah, I'm just doing a few more fiddly bits and then I will finish the live, but then we'll probably fiddle. Later on. I, wonder if I need that back to feel solid, you see. And I'll be annoyed if I... I think pen is the way forward, but I need to make sure that that is really dry. Um, I te you see, technically, th there are no bright white spots on any of this, so a gel pen wouldn't even work. It, it is um, it's nearly all yellows. But what you might find is that where you want yellow you see if you mix yellow with white it, you lose the vibrancy of the yellow but what you can do is you can put some white down first then let it dry then add the yellow and what that does is it gives you a brighter yellow that's on the white base rather than mixing with the white unless you've got mixing white mixing white will give you a, a more brighter yellow but I will I will have to do a lesson on that one day because I've not really discussed it much I've got a cockney knees up sung in my head at the moment and I have no idea why I've got Let's all go down the strand, have a banana No idea why that's in my head I just thought I'd share that with you <laughs> That could be your earworm for the rest of the afternoon You'll just like randomly just come out with Have a banana People will ask you something and you'll just go Have a banana 
What, what's the Smurfs theme tune? I'm not even gonna go there. But now I can't remember what it is. Because when you said the Smurfs theme tune, Fraggle Rock came into my head. <laughs> yes, funny. That's turned out better than I thought it would in my head, to be honest. Thanks. Um, I, I, I think it will work better when the rigging is on. Um, I'm just... I've got a wet bit there. What's that? Oh, that's your fault. Ah, oh, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Good. Maybe, maybe it's because I'm a Londoner. I'm not though. I want a bit of red over this side. I'm fiddling. I shouldn't be fiddling. Stop me from fiddling. Make me stop. I think I'll do the rigging in a minute um, afterwards because what if I've still got um, even a little bit of moisture on this canvas when I put the permanent pen on it'll get caked and then I'll, I'll lose the pen and I don't really want to do that um, because I have enjoyed this it's been a really different painting hasn't it to the way we normally paint because it in terms of detail and stuff it's not detailed, but the boat is the fiddly bit. Oh, it's seaweed and shells on a rock face next time. Because that'll be lots of textures. But that's good. Um, th you can see that the strong sunlight is just creeping around the house now, so I've got strong shadows coming across, um, which is frustrating. I might have to shut the curtains. Um, Tonight's for tonight's oh. What's that? No, no, not for the next time. I said I wasn't going to do this, and I'm doing it. Do you ever, do you ever not listen to yourself? Yeah, I've got, I've got nobody to slap me. So I just have to take responsibility, sort of, for my own actions. I don't enjoy taking responsibility for my own actions. I've got nobody. I've got nobody to blame here, though. I can't say, well, you shouldn't have moved it, or that shouldn't have been there. The gnomes. Do you know what? I want to find a nice vintage gnome for my garden. I bet I'll find one on eBay. I'd like a nice vintage gnome. Because um, my sister had all of the gnomes from the family home. Because I didn't have a garden at the time. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind some gnomes. Now you see that's got to go from there to there, like that, <gasps> and then there's another one that's a bit down there, and then I will use a ruler. I know, it's mad isn't it? 
Let's see if that change. Oh, that's better. There. It's, what what I like is this is such a good camera that um, it does react well with um, in the in in lower light. It works wonderfully. So where's that going? They go down straight down there, don't they? Oh, brilliant. See, I said I wasn't doing this, but I am now doing this. But I don't think I'll have time in between painting my canvas black for tonight, driving to wherever I've got to go. So where does that one go? That, that goes up like that. That goes like that. That's got to go to that. Mass like that. And then we've got rigging. I think from up here. I know, there is a lot, isn't there? There is a lot. But I can't work out which, where it's coming from. I'll just draw lots of lines. Yeah, down here, isn't it? And that's sort of coming from up there. So where's that line gone? Does look better with a bit of rigging. However, it's supposed to look. It does look better. Yeah, definitely stopping the fiddle now. But I'm pleased with that, actually. But I do feel happy now the rigging's on. I would have been annoyed at myself all the way I was driving to the delivery. I'd have been thinking, oh, I should have done that. I, I've had the time. I had the time to do it, so I should have done it. Um, so yeah, I look forward to seeing um, what you created um, as normal. So tonight is Drawn to Acrylics and we're doing a Bluebell Wood in Acrylics this week because we did the drawing last week. But we're going to paint the whole canvas black. If you get time before the class, that would be great. If not, and I'm only saying if not because I don't know if I'll get time before the class. Um, so I'm uh, putting that caveat there for me. Um, then uh, we'll allow five to ten minutes to just quickly wallop a bit of black paint on and um, 
get it dry. So thank you very much. I really am going to look forward to, to seeing your pictures today um, because it's such an interesting scene in that it, it is just almost like an abstract of oranges, reds and purples without that boat. And that boat does make a huge difference to um, to the whole scene and it gives it a sense of scale. So uh, that's really interesting. So thank you so much and uh, take care. Enjoy the rest of the week and I'll see you in whichever classes that you're in for the rest of the week. So take care. Yes. Yeah. Blackwater colour is fine.